Hey everybody, it's Maggie from Personal Euphoria with today's plank story. If you don't want to plank, today I'm going to suggest some really deep breaths, but not a traditional belly breath. Not that the, you can't expand your stomach, but instead really think of like the back of your ribs, the lowest rib, and think of the back of your rib cage pressing back behind you so that you're breathing more into your lowest ribs in the back and try to feel movement there with your breath. All right, uh, so these are a paired couple of stories of some minor torments I did to my parents as a young child. So I don't remember this, but I've heard about it plenty. When I was a toddler, but still in like a high chair, my parents had given me peas to eat and the peas were all gone. And so they started praising me. Oh, Maggie, what a good girl. You ate all your peas. Oh, you ate all your peas. So good. And then as they're doing dishes and stuff, they notice I'm doing... <laughs> and... Uh, I guess, I think they tried to make me blow my nose and I can't, and I don't know if that's because I don't know how to blow my nose yet at that age or because I'd stuffed all the peas up my nose. So they figure out that I've got all these peas up my nose and they can't figure out how to get them out. Eventually they pick them out with a lobster pick. Now again, I don't remember this, but I know of it because every time, a little less now, but certainly the first like 30 years of my life, Every time we had peas at dinner, I was told this story. Or there'd be a line like, Maggie, don't stick the peas up your nose. <laughs> uh, and at first it was like, oh, she had five peas up her nose. And then it became, she had eight peas up her nose. Eventually I had 12 peas up my nose. The last time I heard the story, I think I had 20 something peas up my nose. So it's it's grown. And then you flash forward uh, 10 years like 10 years. Yeah, I'm 12. My brother is two and it's Christmas morning. And you know, you take like a young child and you hold them by the hands and you spin in a circle so they fly through the air. I used to do that with my younger sister and brother and they loved it. It's Christmas morning. I'm doing it to my two-year-old brother and he starts screaming, screaming. And uh, there's no consoling him. My parents take him to the emergency room. Again, it's Christmas morning and I had dislocated both his shoulders. Now, my brother doesn't remember this actually happening, but he tells me this story as if he remembers it. Uh, I tell him everything would have been fine if his shoulders weren't so defective. Clearly, this is not my fault, but I will tell you, I have never done that to another child. Um, no, he, he laughs at me. It's, it's all in good fun, teasing me about my peas and, and my ability to dislocate shoulders, I think. <laughs> All right, with that, have a wonderful day. And as always, keep moving. And if you're in our cardio strength class, I'll see you momentarily.